Hi guys, welcome to Making Sawdust. I'm Kevin. Thanks for joining me. I ran into a problem today when I'm mounting my barn door hardware, getting ready to at least, and I found out the lag bolts supplied in the kit are too long. So I went to the depot and I picked up a selection of bolts that I think I'm going to be able to use. But my problem is they're either zinc coated, galvanized, or stainless steel. And I don't want that shiny coat on my nice dog kennel. So I decided to powder paint. So this video is going to provide a couple tips for small scale powder coating in your shop. Very inexpensive. So again, one of the problems I'm faced with is these are stock lags that came with the kit. They're two and a half inches long. I go through the front metal bar that the barn door hardware hangs on. And then they go through the standoff. Like and my kennel is made out of three quarter inch pine. They stick out oh, about three eighths of an inch. So what I've decided on is some two inch quarter twenties. And I'll use a cap nut on the inside. And you can see obviously I have enough to use those. There's quite a few ways to do this. I'm using a heat gun because I just have some small parts like these bolts and nuts. I'll attach that nut onto the threads of the bolt. That way when I do powder coat it, I don't have powder coat inside the threads of the cap nut. Now if you have a larger item, maybe a heat gun isn't going to work real good for you. You can use your house oven. You could also use a small toaster oven to heat up your part. Uh, but like right here, I'm just using a heat gun. It is on a medium setting. Nothing crazy hot. I'm actually heating up the head of the bolt. Oh, it's probably going to be about 20 seconds or so. This is the first one that I have done. So I noticed that uh, about 20 seconds works real good for me. And then you're going to dip it into the container. I'll leave my powder coat finish in the small jar here because I have a small part. But if you have a larger item, you could use... Uh, one of your wife's Tupperwares or a glass bowl or something like that. You can also sprinkle the powder onto your heated item. When your item is heated, the powder will stick to it. If your item is not heated up enough, the powder won't stick. So that's going to give you an indication if it's hot enough. If it is too hot, the, the powder will stick to it and actually start to kind of gum up and create kind of a stringy effect when you pull it back out of your powder. Then you'll just throw it back into the heat for a little while and kind of bake that finish. And then just let it cool off. You can see here, the nut was actually a little too hot, and when I pull it out of the powder paint, it created a little string as I pulled it back out. So what you can do is rem remedy this by throwing it back in the heat and allowing the powder to warm up and kind of flow and create a more smooth finish. So I salvaged this one. Once my hardware is cooled off, now I'm just going to unscrew the nut. 
It's going to be stuck on there a little bit because there's going to be some residual powder paint attached to the threads and the knot, but on the inside of the cab nut, the threads are all nice and clean. So I'm just inspecting it and making sure it's coated good. And I'll move on to the next ones. So for a recap, guys, you can use powder paint on small scale items. Uh, this powder paint only cost me probably five or six bucks. I'll have to look it up. I'll throw a couple of screenshots of this paint and some comparable items. I'm sure you can buy it on Amazon or you know many other other places. So I'll throw in a couple links uh, for small scale. Doesn't take a lot. You could probably powder paint a lot of things with this little bucket right here. Uh, and for specialty type items like these pieces of hardware, it really is a good option. Uh, paint most likely would chip unless you really like had a really nice baked on enamel or an epoxy type finish. You know, I'm not into that. Uh, this is something you can do in your shop. Heat gun, powder paint, do a few items. So thanks for joining me today, guys. Hopefully this was informative and valuable to you guys. This is a really good option for hardware and tiny parts that you need to powder paint. There's so many colors available. I used powder paint for the first time when I was painting my own fishing lures. And I just had this laying around. I figured, heck, this is a really good option. So there's so many colors available on Amazon and also a bunch of different fishing suppliers. So I invite you to go check those out. I have a few links down in the description. And why don't you get outside and make some sawdust?